So you know how it is when you go to Eretz Yisrael, people are always calling you, do me a favor, I just want to send along a little, little, little refrigerator. No, 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 sorry, sorry. So I have a rule, it goes like this. Um, can I just send something along? It's a small thing. I said, really, my, my, my bags are pretty full. It's a small thing. Okay, so bring it over. Are you home? No, but put it through the mail slot. And he would say, it won't fit. I said, then I'm not taking it, okay? So this person calls me up and says, can you please take uh, $5,000 for a kala? He's getting married. Mama, she, Simon, she's getting married. I said, look, I, I, I really would love to be part of the mitzvah. I, I'm not, I, it makes me very nervous to take cash. No, it's under the limit. I, it's not the point. I, I'd rather not. Then my wife said to me, you know, but we're going, we need a shmir. This is real shliach mitzvah money. Anyway, so I take the money. It's in my pocket. And I have this thing. When I come through the metal detector, everything rings. Everything just rings. I go through again and again and again. And finally, the man says to me, maybe you have cash in your pocket. A lot of people, that have cash in their pocket. It rings constantly. So I, I tuck it into my suitcase, into the outside pocket of my suitcase, and I close the zipper, and it goes right through. And uh, as we get there, we get to the gate, I open up the zipper, and I put my hand in, and the money's gone. It's not there. The face turns red. All the yidden come running over. I don't know how they already knew exactly what happened. You know? And everyone says, go back, go back, go back. And I go back and I start arguing with them. And they say, no, you got to bring all your suitcases. And we got to go through it. And we got to check it. It's a whole long story. And don't ask what happened. And maybe open up one of my suitcases and take everything out. And uh, see, see, my wife could pack a whole house into a suitcase. Me, three pairs of pajamas. And I have to jump on it three times. It was a disaster. And we finally got to the gate. And the money wasn't there. I said, listen, it's not there. What am I going to do? I lose the flight and all my tickets. It's worse. And before we get on, my wife said to me, I'm, I'm not letting you, I'm not going. I said, why aren't you going? He said, because you're going to go around the entire trip saying, you lost so much money, you lost so much money, that's it. You go for supper? No supper, that's it. And Shul, they gave out a ruggle in the morning, we'll break it up amongst the kids. After I lost so much money, it's not worth going. And they're saying, sir, are you getting on or not? Can you settle this like someplace else? And I'm saying, okay, I promise you, I will not mention the money the entire time. You, can you do it? I'm telling you, I won't mention the money the entire time. I promise you. And I had to prove myself right. So I didn't mention the money the entire time. And I said, no, we, I can do it. I can do it. And I put this big smile on my face. And we did things we never even did before in Asia. So we had such a great time, you can't imagine. The last day, my wife says, guess what? What? Look at the table. I said, you probably bought a gift to the Baldira. No, look at the table. I look at the table and there's the money. So where was it? She said, it was in there. It was all along. Just that it slipped past where your fingers go. And I said to myself, I got to stop and think about this for a moment. If I would have gone through this entire trip and I would have said, what's the money? What's the money? No, don't tell me about going places. I don't want to go get brachas on people, okay? I lost the money. Right, and all of a sudden the money is there. Oh, the money's here! But never, I mean, never mind, the trip is over. Life goes very, very fast. And before you know it, the trip is over. In order to see the simcha in your life, says the Svas Emes, you have to do your best at Shmira Senayim. I have heard this from a lot of people. But once they started being conscious about Shmira Senayim, they had a Shalom bias they never had before. They had, they had a Sprach with their children they never had before. In order for us to find what we have, stop looking for it elsewhere. Find it in your own suitcase.